Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we got some very interesting developments in the Mar-a-Lago documents case, and it's not looking good for the former president. It was reported that the day before the FBI showed up to serve Donald Trump with a subpoena for the records that he was withholding from the National Archives, a couple of Mar-a-Lago employees were seen moving boxes of documents into a storage area from other locations in the facility. Now, on the surface, you know, you would think, yeah, you want these documents secured. And when the FBI showed up, they were invited to look at the storage area, but they were told that they couldn't search anything and they couldn't look in the boxes. And let's face it, it doesn't take a criminal mastermind to see that mm, that, that might be a little suspicious. You know, if you had stolen something from the government and they were coming to look for it the next day, you'd make sure that you moved it into a location that they couldn't search. Because remember, a subpoena is not a search warrant. It's just a piece of paper that says, hey, a court has ordered that you need to give me whatever it is is listed in this subpoena. But it's not a search warrant. The FBI couldn't go in and say, okay, we're pretty sure you've got the documents here, and if you don't give them to us, we're going to find them. That's why they came back two months later with a search warrant. Because that did allow them to go in, search the storage locker and other areas, and then, yes, they found all the documents that Donald Trump was hiding from the government. So, why is this detail so important? Well, as many people have said, the key thing the government is going to have to prove, should it choose to indict the former president, is that he willfully retained these documents. We know from previous court filings and other reporting that Donald Trump was informed many times that he was not entitled to keep these documents. So, Donald Trump could have, if he wanted to, complied with the subpoena and given back everything he had, the way he claims that he did. However, as this reporting suggests, not only did he move boxes of documents into a place where the FBI couldn't get at them, he had dress rehearsals in order to make sure that it would go smoothly should it need to happen. And this is clear evidence of his intent. He knew that he wasn't supposed to have these documents, he'd been informed of that multiple times, even by his own lawyers, and yet he still took precautions to ensure that should the government come knocking, they wouldn't actually be able to get back the documents that the government, not Trump, was entitled to. Now, currently Donald Trump and his lawyers are trying a new defense that is more focused on the people who actually did the moving. Their lawyers are saying that, well, our clients didn't know what was in the boxes. They weren't trying to hide anything from the government, they were just following what seemed to be an innocent and routine order from their boss. And I actually believe that for the most part. The problem for the former president is that he's the boss, and he definitely knew what was in those boxes. It was even reported that during one of these dress rehearsals, he actually reviewed the context of some of the boxes, which included classified material. So... Again, this just points to the fact that Donald Trump knew he was in possession of records he wasn't supposed to have, and that he had them moved in order to hide them from the federal government, whether or not the people who did the moving itself actually knew what they were doing. Given these new developments, as well as all of the other evidence that we have in the public domain, I think that the DOJ would have a very easy time proving a case of will for attention to a jury should they indict the former president. They know that he was repeatedly informed that he wasn't allowed to have those documents, and that when they came to collect them, he took many different precautions to make sure that they couldn't find them. However, the only question we don't have an answer to yet is why. What motive did Donald Trump have in order to work so hard to hide these documents from the federal government? Now, some of his defenders have said that he's just vain, and they were cool, and he wanted to keep these souvenirs from his time in office. And to some degree, I get that. Donald Trump is a vain man, and I could see where he's just like, these are cool, they're mine, I'm not giving them back. But the way this investigation is going, there might actually be a different motive. There's been some reporting that the special counsel is looking into the Trump organization's dealings with foreign governments. And if you're being accused of withholding national security information, and your transactions with foreign governments are being investigated at the same time, well, that does point towards a motive that might actually be worth hiding things from the government, doesn't it? Think about it. 